So whenever Stevie the Crocodile gets exhibited anywhere, there's a few frequently asked questions that tend to come up. One of the first ones is, why a 20-foot crocodile? Well, I found out that saltwater crocodiles are the world's largest living reptile, and they grow to an average of 20 feet. I thought that was pretty awe-inspiring. And what better way of showing that fact to others than creating a 20-foot crocodile? Another question I get asked is, how long did it take you to make it? And the simple answer for that one is that Stevie was hanging on my design wall, which is right where she is right now, <laughs> um, for about two years. But it was only maybe about 10 months of that that was dedicated time to work on her. So people ask me what kind of fabrics I used on Stevie. And I collected and used just about everything. Um, there's probably mostly cottons, but there are some uh, polyesters in here, some kind of sheer fabrics, and there's some chiffons, some printed chiffons, and there's rayons someplace in here. Uh, one thing that uh, people noticed in person that they really didn't notice in the photographs or, or the blog is the glittery fabrics that I use. So she has all these little bits of glitter on her um, and uh, I gave her a little bit of a, a blush up here. And she even has a Marilyn Monroe sparkle beauty mark. Since saltwater crocodiles are native to Australia, I of course had to include some Australian Aboriginal fabrics. Now those fabrics come in some great designs, many of which include some of the animals of Australia. So we have a snake, we have witchy grubs, we've got emus, and a lizard. And then, if you come this way, we've got some kangaroos cavorting down the tail. And there's a couple different types. Oh yeah, there's one there, and then there's one right there too. So there's little things kind of hidden in Stevie the Crocodile for you to find. So just as I used glittery fabrics to show some of the highlights um, and the accents um, on her, I also used some darker shears for some of the shadowed areas. This one happens to have some black polka dots in it. I wanted the background to reflect where she lives. So you start with the dark undergrowth and then you come across and she's walking across the sandy beach off into the ocean waves. So thanks for joining me on this tour of Stevie the Crocodile.